My name is Joshua Luchikong, and this is my exhibition called Molded Memories at Mintulo. And I'm an artist slash designer. I mean, for artists or a creative person to be stuck with a temp doing the same template over and over and not evolving is dangerous. That's when you, you know. That's when you feel like okay, there's nothing more to learn or or to develop. That's toxic for a designer or a creative person or artist. And for me, I like I'm always like I I come to realization that you never finish learning. Like you don't stop school and say okay, I stop learning. That's it. It's never. It doesn't end there. So for me, I'm always like trying new, experimenting with different mediums and like, I don't know, meeting new people with different talents and always doing collaborations with these artists as well is also important in a, in a creative space to interact with different people. Um, yes, for me, I need to be in that space because it's my, I have control over that space. There's no distractions around me to like to, um, put me away from that, that space. And it's only in that space that I, I commune with my experience or memories or those ideas or concepts I have in my head to fully create these pieces. Oh, well, each artist have their own methods of like gaining inspiration. I mean, it's been throughout the years that you know people like like it's all based on their life experiences. So, based on that, they form their ideas out of those moments in time of their life. And for me, I don't have any particular like ritual that I go through. To, to create the works that you see here, but my process is that from my life experiences, from the people I meet and places I go and the things I read in books or online, I, I remember the ones that intrigues me the most and store them in my memories. And when I have time to sit down and actually come up and actually make the work, it, all those memories subconsciously forms itself into an image that I create over that night and form these objects that as part of the exhibition. Um, well, the whole concept of folklore or like these stories that people tell is like is no different from what I'm doing because it's also telling the story of my experiences, like taking what's abstract or invisible and creating a figurative form to do those invisible forces that exist around us. And, and that's my, what, well, creative freedom <laughs> releasing itself. So, I mean, people will have their own traditions and will frown like how I'm maybe re re reinterpreting the stories, but then there's no room for improvement or progress in expressing the, the world around us and especially retelling of the stories. That's what makes it exciting for me. Um, it all depends on the person. Like, for me, I did, when I came back from um, New York, I was working in New York in a design firm and come back down to Trailhead. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but then I, I started networking and people were interested in me and my work as a graphic designer because that's my traditional training. I was training as a graphic designer and that's how I, was, um, that's, that's how I got into working into art agencies. But it doesn't matter as an artist, you should be open to different ideas and should be able to accept, it, accept the experiences and, and let it be a part of you.
Um, a lot of courage and bravery is involved in like, stepping your own. It's, it's partly the nature of job. Like once you're dealing with clients, there's always that input from the client that they have their own interpretation of how the work should be. Whereas if you work on your own, you have freedom to ex fully express yourself the way you want it and people are forced to either like the work or don't like the work. So as an um, artist designer, I mean, it's, no, it's, it's a nice experience going through the realm of like, for me, advertising because you gain experience, experience in dealing with clients and also how, like, framework of how the workflow of how clients, what clients want and also try to find a compromise and you know that mid ground saying like what you want and what they want so it's it's a it's a learning experience going through that process and and, and it's <laughs> it's just how it is the nature of your job <laughs>